Welcome to the Moore 5-Minute St. Louis Real Estate Market Update. I'm Dennis Norman, one of the brokers at Moore, and if you'll give me five minutes of your time, I'll bring you up to date on what's happening in the St. Louis housing market. Let's jump right in with some data on the entire uh, St. Louis metro area. Here uh, you'll see our chart showing uh, our trademarked uh, market action index. Uh, this shows, uh, this is just a quick snapshot at the overall St. Louis market and uh, mainly looks at supply and demand. And you'll see that uh, this is a history of the chart uh, since we uh, introduced this uh, index a little over three years ago. And you'll see we've hit the highest level it's, uh, it's ever been. Uh, so far this year, it's shot up quite a bit from a 16 uh, to uh, about a 24. Uh, just a quick reminder, a 30 would indicate a balanced market, not favoring buyers or sellers. Above a 30 would be a hot market, a seller's market. We do have some seller's markets uh, in St. Louis. We have some uh, neighborhoods and areas that uh, are uh, turning into a seller's market. If you want to know more about that, contact us. We'll uh, let you know where those are. Um, and anything below a 30 is a cold market down to a zero would be the coldest and, and favoring buyers. So you can see St. Louis uh, as a whole is uh, inching up towards a uh, seller's market. Uh, this will show you uh, some of the data that goes into that index. This is uh, the inventory of homes for sale in the St. Louis metro area as well as the uh, time that those homes have been on the market. The black line is the inventory. And you can see over the uh, past year what's happened to the inventory of homes we hit a peak of about 17,200, dropped uh, down now to uh, about 13,000. And you can see the days on market, the orange line uh, dropped uh, last summer and has been uh, increasing going into winter, which is pretty typical, uh, showing about 126 days or so on the market for a median. Uh, just to zoom in and look at a couple of the markets, again, we've got this data uh, for every market in St. Louis, every market in the country for that matter, and we can help you uh, apply this to, uh, to either where your home is located, if uh, you're thinking about selling or to the market you're looking at, if you're thinking about buying. But just to show you a couple of uh, uh, markets here real quick, uh, this is the 63040 market, uh, Grover, and uh, this is one of the markets where inventory has really dropped the red line there. You can see back in 09 where the inventory was, it hit a peak up here in uh, 10. And you can see how much the inventory has dropped now, about six homes for sale in that market. And at the same time, the uh, kind of green line there, olive line, that's median price. You can see what price has done as the inventory has continued to drop. Prices went up, basic economics. Here's the same thing for uh, Clayton, 63105. Same thing, you can see the inventory peaked up here at about 65 homes on the market uh, back in uh, late 2010. It's now down to, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, 12 or 13 homes on the market, and we can see what prices have done. They uh, steadily fell while the inventory was up, and they've been uh, climbing uh, ever since. Uh, now we're going to look at uh, what I call the, the St. Louis core market, the five counties in St. Louis that make up the bulk of the real estate sales in the St. Louis metro area. These counties would include the city of St. Louis, St. Louis County, Jefferson County, St. Charles County, and Franklin County. And you can see here uh, the number of sales uh, is represented by the blue bars. And we can see for the past 12 months uh, what has happened, a seasonal increase in the summer, which is normal. And you can see that sales for January, uh, this past January, uh, were uh, up from a year ago. The green line is the average sales price. And while it fluctuated, increased over the summer, we've ended up pretty much back in the same place we were last year. Uh, this is a chart that shows the median home sales prices and the median time to sell. For that same five county core market, the yellow line is the median sales price, red line is days on market, and you can see what has happened to median prices. Median prices have actually risen a little bit over the past year. We're at a little higher point than we were a year ago, and the uh, time to sell has been steadily increasing lately. Um, still down from what it was, but it is on the rise. This is uh, uh, what I call my realtor scorecard. This shows how good a job uh, realtors are doing with uh, uh, educating sellers and getting pr houses priced properly. This shows what homes are selling for as a ratio or a percentage of their list price, both the original list price as well as the current list price at the time of sale. You see overall homes have been selling in the past year for about 96, uh, rising up to about 97% of what they were currently listed for, um, but it's uh, been about 94% or less of what they were originally listed for, so agents are still overpricing homes. This is listing inventory for this five county area, shows that the number of listings uh, supply, uh, has dropped so that uh, in the past uh, six or eight months, we've had about a six month supply, which is fairly healthy. 
Here's the bad news. This is a 10 year chart looking at uh, the uh, median home prices and list prices for the past 10 years. And uh, you can see that uh, the uh, green line, the median home prices, you can see are unfortunately are lower than they were 10 years ago back in 03. And, uh, and list prices obviously have followed suit. And there you go. There's the five minutes. Uh, there's a quick update. This is a very small piece of uh, all the market data and the information that we have and that we have available to our agents. And uh, please contact us and uh, we'll be happy to help you with whatever your real estate needs are. We have an electronic uh, newsletter. We have market data for all the uh, charts. You see our podcast channel there. Uh, check us out. Here's a, a QR code. You can scan that. And that'll take you to uh, a whole bunch of resources for buyers and sellers. Uh, on the left there, you'll see St. Louis Real Estate.